Hello, you absolute legends. Welcome back to the channel on a beautiful morning here in Lincolnshire. And it is early in the morning, just gone seven o'clock. And as the title suggests, I'm about to pick up two more cars. The issue I've got, however, is I need to make some space for them first. In solving an issue of space on the front, however, I may have caused a temporary issue at the back. <sighs> Thank goodness this is temporary. So I'm actually taking my Royal Snail Van to go and help pick these cars up. I am quietly confident that one of them will definitely start. Uh, I've got my jump pack with me, I've got my air compressor with me and some fuel and some basic tools. But one of them I think definitely won't start and because of that, the team at JW Recovery here in Boston are gonna meet me there. So at least I'm gonna be able to get both of them home in one go, no issues, thanks to the team at JW Recovery who are picking them up for me. So things I'm taking with me include a spare battery just in case, extension cable, petrol, jump leads, and my tools, my air compressor and my jump pack. And of course, it was always going to be protons that I was collecting in this video. Um, we've arrived and the journey was about an hour. I have the keys for this one and the other one we're going to be picking up. Um, I actually bought these about a year ago and semi forgot about them as part of a six car collection. First port of call was to try and get this one moving. I knew that it was all intact and that it had been stood for about seven years in its current location. You can see inside I'm having a good look around. Apart from being quite rusty, I was confident that it would probably start. So uh, my plan here is to hook the jump pack up to it and try and get it to start. You can see under the bonnet there looking a little bit crusty. Right, here's the moment of truth. Okay, so it shows me that the so it shows me that the door's open. I've got to squeeze myself in here. Come on. <laughs> it lives, it lives, amazing. And as you heard then, miraculously the car started uh, with that jump pack on. The next port of call is going to be trying to move it and uh, get it shifted to the front of the farm so we can get it on the trailer. Um, the problem is it's very flat, uh, the wheels and the tyres and bits and pieces, but thankfully I brought with me my um, air compressor to pump these tyres up. My problem would be if it was stuck in the mud. The next question is, will she move? And to be honest with you, the uh, accelerator pedal was stuck on. The handbrake isn't on, which is good news. Um, I'm going to put my foot on all everything just to make sure it moves, but I'm confident. So I shall turn on. It will not engage gear. There's an issue with the clutch. So I inevitably had to call in the troops, call in the boys from uh, JW Recovery. My plan was to get that car moving and uh, drive it across the field to the road so they could just load it up on their low loader. Sadly, not going to happen. So they drove the uh, low loader car transporter across the field and wasted absolutely no time getting it hooked up onto a winch. I was totally confident that it would go on okay. And then when we started to move it, as you can see, both the back wheels were absolutely stuck on. Chap here directing it onto the trailer, but um, gonna cause a little bit of a skid mark <laughs> getting it onto that trailer because those back wheels are stuck. So actually, even if it wasn't a clutch problem, um, those back tires, those back wheels were gonna always cause me an issue by being stuck on. 
Getting onto the back of the transporter then, just winching it on there, slow and steady, won the race. And actually it was doing it with a remote control and I thought that was good. I have long considered buying myself a car transporter and it's probably something that in the near future I'm going to end up adding to the Coupland fleet because then I can do this sort of thing on my own. Um, but thanks to the team at JW Recovery, they did this for me for free. They picked it up for free. And uh, whilst getting it onto the ramps there, we actually got the wheels unstuck. And you can see, there it goes, that wheel has come unstuck. So it took a lot of force, but once it's rolled back and forth a bit, it managed to uh, free up on both sides. Then to tackle the next one, once we've got that one on. Which, as you can see, is a barn find. It is in a barn and... Uh, Mr. JW reversed his truck in. We got the uh, covers off and hooked up to the trailer with a view of just pulling it out, hooking it around the cross yeah. member at the front and just dragging it out from where it's been sleeping in straw and hay and with horses for the past, I don't know, 10, 12 years. Pulling it out, uh, thankfully the wheels were not flat, the tyres weren't flat, uh, and the chap here directing it by a the using the steering wheel thankfully i had the keys to this one as well so the plan get it out get it across the field and then load it onto a trailer that was on the roadside and this is the first time this car is about to see sunshine about to be out uh, in the daylight for again around about 10 to 15 years you can see at the back authentic barn find dust <laughs> it's getting blown off you can hear the uh, uh, exhaust trailing along the floor and there we go out the fields across the fields and onto the roadside onto tarmac for the first time in a very long time these poor protons about to meet their fate in the coupland collection so now on the roadside it's time to winch the barn find the one that has been in with the horses onto the trailer and i mentioned that the tires weren't flat well Actually, they are flat. Um, they're just uh, rolling on the steels. No idea at this stage if it's going to be any good. And this is the first time I've now got to see the car not sadly up close and personal, just covered in dust, covered in dirt, and I didn't realise there was a big dent in that uh, passenger door. I have no idea what awaits me in store with this car. I haven't seen the engine. I haven't looked at the condition inside. I haven't looked in the boot. Um, I can see that everything looks relatively good and not rotten, but I am at this stage thinking I can't wait to get this home and have a good look around it and then give it a clean, get all that grime and dirt off it. I couldn't help myself. I had to have a look inside um, whilst we were loading it up. And oh my goodness, it's grufty and I wish you could smell it. Anyway, home, we're home. We arrived home and what must the neighbours think? Two protons arriving at the mad proton man's house. We got the first one on the drive and then the second one on the drive. What will the inspector think? What will Mrs. John Cooten think? What will I think? Uh, we'll soon find out. So, as you saw there, picked up from the barn that it has been in for the past 10 years and delivered safely to my home. I wish you could have seen Mrs. John Cooten's face when this was rolling down the driveway. There is going to be a separate video where we take a look round the car and the other one as well and uh, have a, just a chat about its future. I'm looking forward to having a good look at it. Literally, it's just rolled off the drive and JW Recovery have left. I think I probably need to clean it as well. Maybe that'll be a separate video. Anyway, it's here... We've managed to get it out. I hope you're as excited as me about the future of these two protons. <laughs> Time will tell. If you've enjoyed this first part of the video, which is going to pick them up and drag them out, let me know in the comments below. Uh, what would you like to see next? Would you like to see it cleaned and jet washed? Or is the rain gonna do that for me? A lot of my precious dust has already been lost on the way home. Till next time, have a great day, whatever you're getting up to. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.
There are so many more Proton related videos on the channel and I've actually selected a couple that I think you might like here uh, on this page. Give them a click to watch them now. Don't forget to subscribe for more Proton fun and lots more videos coming soon.